diabetic food diabetic food is a very very important uh, subject in surgery because it is very common serious condition affecting at least 15% of diabetic patients in their life we all know that diabetic patients in every country are millions of diabetics there are millions of diabetics and at least 15% of these patients are affected by diabetic food diabetic food is very common in diabetic patient especially in case of long-standing neglected poorly controlled diabetic patients why uh, diabetic food is very common because diabetes mellitus first of all produce ischemia why diabetes mellitus is one of the important predisposing factor and risk factor for macro angiopathy obstruction of large and medium sized arteries which is actually diab which is actually atherosclerosis atherosclerosis or diabetic macro angiopathy is uh, very very common and very severe atherosclerosis occur in diabetics plus diabetes mellitus obstructs the large and uh, medium sized arteries by atherosclerosis and there is diabetic micro angiopathy which affecting the arterioles and the capillaries which lead it, which leads to more and more ischemia um, sure in diabetes mellitus there is hyperglycemia prolonged hyperglycemia plus ischemia of nerves hyperglycemia and ischemia of nerves ending by peripheral neuropathy ischemia in one hand and destruction of nerves by peripheral neuropathy leading to the skin is healthy normal there is ischemic skin and neurobasic skin with sensor loss therefore the skin becomes devitalized leading to trophic changes in the skin of the foot due to neurobasic there is sensor loss and the patient is unaware of any injurious insult leading to repeated trauma repeated injuries ending by ulceration of the foot and ulceration of the foot is a way for introduction of infection and all these factors of ischemia peripheral neuropathy trophic changes and repeated exposure to trauma infection sure this condition ending by gangrene what is the etiology of uh, food problems in uh, diabetic patient first of all diabetic macro angiopathy in diabetes mellitus atherosclerosis occur at younger age very severe and very diffuse and diabetes mellitus accelerate the process and the pathology of atherosclerosis why in uh, diabetes mellitus there is high plasma level of cholesterol hypercholesterolemia there is high plasma level of triglycerides and genetically 
all diabetic patients are predisposed to hypertension. Hypercholesterolemia with high level of triglycerides, hypertension, genetic factor, all these factors leading to atherosclerosis or what is called diabetic macroangiopathy, which affects a large and medium sized vessels. Uh, in normal patient and non diabetics, atherosclerosis or diabetic macroangiopathy affect the large and medium uh, sized vessels only. In diabetes mellitus, atherosclerosis extend to the small blood vessels, to all tibio peroneal vessels until the ankle joint. Therefore, diabetes, diabetes mellitus reduce severe exaggerated effect of atherosclerosis. The second factor uh, is uh, diabetic microangiopathy. What is uh, diabetic microangiopathy? Um, this is the first uh, factor which uh, reduces diabetic food, which is diabetic microangiopathy or atherosclerosis. This is the second factor. Normal capillaries has thin wall, therefore uh, the capillaries has good permeability to nutrient material to the tissues and good permeability to oxygen to the tissue, therefore good nutrition and good oxygen supply of the tissue leading to healthy viable tissue. In diabetes mellitus, microangiopathy occur, and this normal capillary becomes this. What is this? Marked severe sickening in the basement membrane. Severe sickening of the basement membrane and the wall of the capillary, which interfere with perfusion of the tissue, which interfere with oxygenation of the tissue. Therefore, the tissues becomes devitalized. And also, this sickness of the wall of the capillaries predisposes to infection. Why? Because all factors which fight microorganisms and the infection are impaired. How? Poor permeability of capillaries leading to poor permeability of antibiotics, poor delivery of antibodies, poor delivery of leukocytes to the area of infection. If there is here area of infection and the microorganism, we need antibiotic, we need antibody, we need leukocytes for body defense mechanism. Due to sickening of the basement membrane and sickening of the wall of the capillaries, there is impairment of perfusion of antibodies, antibiotics, and no delivery of leukocytes, which will be disposed to more and more infection. And therefore, diabetic microangiopathy reduced two factors. Devitalization of the tissue due to poor permeability of capillaries, plus poor resistance to infection. Due to obstruction of large blood vessels by macroangiopathy, and obstruction of capillaries, which is microangiopathy, these two factors leading to ischemic limb. And the ischemic limb buried as both to gangrene and the ischemic problems in the foot. The third important uh, factor in uh, diabetes mellitus is infection. Why infection very, very common in diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus produce poor general resistance, impairs the immunity. 
in uh, poorly controlled diabetes, there is uh, ketoacidosis, and the ketone bodies inhibit antibody formation and they produce white blood cell dysfunction and produce devitalized tissue. Therefore, the skin is poor resistant to invasion by microorganism. Therefore, the local resistance of the tissue is impaired, white blood cell dysfunction, and impairment of antibodies. Plus, plus diabetic uh, neuropathy will be predisposed to ulceration, which uh, is a way for introduction of bacteria and the infection. Ischemic tissues in the foot due to macro and micro angiopathy predisposed to poor resistance of the tissue and the easy invasion of the tissues by bacteria. Plus, high glucose level in the tissue. High glucose level in the tissue is a perfect cultural media for bacterial dissemination. Um, another factor which produces uh, diabetic food is diabetic neuropathy. Diabetic neuropathy occurs due to two factors. First of all, hyperglycemia. Reduce destruction of nerve receptors and the nerve fibers. Plus, ischemia of nerves. This is a normal nerve with normal blood vessels. The nerve, the, the arterial supply to the nerve are blood vessels called vasa nervosa healthy blood vessels good nutrition to the nerve healthy nerve this is a normal but in diabetes mellitus with macro and micro angiopathy the blood vessels becomes diseased the blood vessels becomes completely obstructed leading to devitalization of nerve ending and the terminal nerve fibers ending by diabetic neuropathy. The destroyed nerve fibers may be sensory fibers leading to sensory neuropathy. And so there is sensor loss and the patients are unaware of any trauma, no pain, unaware of any injurious insult leading to repeated trauma, ending by ulceration. Also, there is a destruction of motor nerve fibers, motor neuropathy, leading to paralysis of all intrinsic muscles of the foot, leading to deformity in the foot, which predisposes to ulceration. Deformity in the foot leading to disturbance of body weight transmission. And all body weight now, due to deformity in the foot, becomes directed to the heads of the metatarsals. And by repeated walking and the trauma to the region of the head of the metatarsals, leading to ulceration in this famous site of neurobasic ulcer at the heads of the metatarsal bones. Autonomic neuropathy, destruction of autonomic nerve. The autonomic supply to the limb is sympathetic supply to the cutaneous blood vessels and to the sweat glands. The sympathetic fibers reduce cutaneous vasoconstriction and stimulate sweating. Due to autonomic denervation and in diabetic patient, there is what is called autosympathectomy. Destruction of sympathetic fibers. Destruction of sympathetic fibers, the sympathetics produce constriction of cutaneous blood vessels. Due to autosympathectomy, cutaneous vasodilatation occur, 
leading to warm skin. Normally, sympathetic stimulate sweat glands. In autosympathectomy of peripheral neuropathy in diabetics, inhibition of sweat glands, the skin becomes dry with cracking and fissuring of the skin, which open another way for introduction of bacteria and predispose to infective diabetic food. Um, this is uh, etiology and the predisposing factor for diabetic food. Thank you for good listening.